every time you make a Google Form, you want to click on the Settings cog. It's right up here next to the Send button, Settings, and you notice you have three tabs, General, Presentation, and Quizzes. Under General, you want to collect email addresses, so make sure that is selected. Response receipts, eh, not so much. Do you want to restrict it so that they have to be at your school in order to take the form? Now, just so you know, by default on EDU accounts, it's restricted. So you want to turn that off, otherwise parents can't take it, you can't share it outside of the domain. I recommend not checking require they be at your school. You can limit it to one response, but again, I recommend not. For one reason or another, someone needs to take it twice, and it's just going to be a hassle if you limit it to one response. Now, you'll know if they took it more than once, you can just take their first response. Do you want to let them edit after they submit it? Let's just call this feature useless. They'd have to save the edit link, and it's not saved anywhere. Who's going to remember to do that? So don't even bother checking edit after submit. Now most of the time you probably do not want to allow the person who fills out the form to see the summary charts. If you're doing something like vote for your favorite homecoming theme, then summary charts totally make sense. Click a presentation. Presentation doesn't mean like Google Slides presentation. It means the presentation of the form, not the edit version, but the preview version. So do you want to have a progress bar to show as they go through the form. The progress bar is not progressing through questions, it's progressing through pages. So unless you have a whole bunch of pages, don't worry about it. Do you want to shuffle the question order? Mm, seems like a good idea, except what is your name becomes question 15. When they submit the form, it says, do you want to submit it again? So you choose whether or not to allow them to do that. I like to change the confirmation message. After they submit the form, what does it tell them? I suggest you tell them what to do next. And the last tab is quizzes. This allows your form to be a quiz and automatically be graded. And it has a lot of settings in there. You need to click make this a quiz. And then you have several options to release the information. Do you want the feedback to come back immediately when they submit? or later after you review it. Do you want them to be able to see the questions, the correct answers, the point values? That's up to you.